What do you guys think about this bun? Is it a ting? Or is it not a ting? Like, you know, let me know down in the comment section below. Cause I want to like switch up my hairstyle. But yeah. <laughs> you can know. What up guys, it's your boy Brandon XO back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get rid of your hard nappy ass hair that you guys be telling me about. So I get many questions on how I can soften my hair, oh my hair is hard and rough, like what can I do to fix this? So today I'm going to be showing you guys what products I use to soften up my hair so that my curls are popping when I do my little curly hair routine and whatnot. And I wouldn't really say that I'm softening my hair. I would say it's conditioning my hair. So I deep condition my hair like once a week. So that really helps softening up your hair and making sure that your hair is nice and moisturized and stuff. Right now my hair is looking kind of dry, you know. So that's why I chose today to do a deep conditioning video for you guys to help you guys out, you know. So just watch the rest of the video and hopefully I can help you guys out. Nope, soften up your hair, soften up your nappy hair so you guys' hair can be like blessed and tang. So stay and watch the rest of the video for the end results. All right, guys, so first thing you guys want to do is shampoo your hair. You want to get any type of build up, product build up, sweat, all that junk out your hair, right? And then if you guys have a Y2 comb, you guys can use that to detangle your hair, or you guys can fingle detangle your hair if you guys want to, it's up to you, do what you want, you know I'm not telling you what to do, but yeah, do that, and yeah, leave the shampoo in your hair for like three to five minutes, five minutes max, but yeah, do that, that is the first step. Alright guys, so second thing you guys want to do is condition your hair, which is like the same process as shampooing your hair, but you're just going to leave it in a little bit longer, like five to ten minutes. And while the shampoo, not the shampoo, <laughs> but while the conditioner is still in your hair, you want to like detangle just in case you miss anything from shampooing your hair. You want to detangle your hair as much as possible if you want your curls to be popping afterwards. So yeah, do that and you should be good. So the last thing you guys want to do is get a deep conditioner to give your hair the most moisture possible. So the deep conditioner that I use is Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle, which is super bomb. You only have to leave it in your hair for 3 minutes, unlike other brands that you have to leave in your hair for like 10 to 30 minutes. Like, man, still have time for that. I have things to do, so 3 minutes is perfect for me. So if you guys want to buy this, you guys check your local hair stores and whatnot. I highly recommend this product. It works really good. But yeah, leave that deep in conditioner in your hair for like three minutes and you are blessed. And yeah, let's see the end results after rinsing all of that out. So, yeah. Oh, what up guys? I'm just here on Instagram. Scrolling, you know, killing some time. Well, since you're here already, you know, you might as well just follow me, you know? Boy got IG. Look at this real quick. You know, Brand X O, B R E N X O. Post some pictures, you know, fire photos. I post more on my story. If you guys want to stay updated with me, you know, follow your boy. Gang. Okay. Alright, guys, so these are the final results after doing the deep conditioner. Just like a focus in. As you guys can see, my hair is like nice and soft and detangled. And this was this is um with no product in my hair, just the shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner, that is now like all washed out. So when I put in my leave-in conditioner and my gel, whew, my curls will be popping, popping. But you know, yeah. So for you guys out there saying your hair is nappy and dry, like how mine was in the beginning of the video. And you want your hairs to be like this, nice and soft and moisturized. Just follow these steps. Be consistent with it, you know. You can't just do it one time and like expect your hair to be like super soft. But like, be consistent. Do it like every week. And your hair will eventually become softer, you know. It'll be moisturized, it'll be nice, it'll be good. Like, you know. So just be consistent and you'll be blessed. Yeah. So I'm going to do my leave-in conditioner and gel, my little routine, and I'm going to be out. 
But if you guys want to see updated curly hair routine video, give this video a thumbs up. If I get like at least, let's say like 20, 25 likes, I'll upload an updated version. But yeah, if you guys have any extra questions, leave them in the comment section below. And so what brand next, so I'm out. Deuces. Boom. She see money all around me.